Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today, I walked into the house and my glasses fogged up. I turned on the camera and it was fogged up. Today is a hot day, but not only that, Today is the luckiest day of the year. It's the luckiest day. Look at fogging up. Today is the luckiest day and maybe the fog is a sign from God to remember to put your best foot forward today, to be your most positive self and to manifest all your wishes and dreams. Earth teaching them. I'm coming. <laughs> Penny's like, me first. You did not eat all your hay. So uh, change all those do not to do's. Change all those I don't to I do. Change all those I can't to I can. Oh, camera, you can get rid of the fog. It's so steamy like a mist bath out here. That's how humid it is. There we go. There you go. And you're over here, Missy. There we go and the very first rock heart of the day. If you're new to the channel, I always see hearts. I believe that God sends them to me to remind me to be kind and loving always, because sometimes it is hard. You guys know, but anyways, today is the day 8-8, eight, eight, which signifies manifestation at its finest. If you want to get out there today and manifest exactly what you want for your dreams, you need to do that. A friend told me about it yesterday, and then Sam told me about it, and I'm like, hmm, that means I need to pay attention to this. So today, I'm gonna help you and show you how to be more positive. And it might only work for today. No, it will work for today and any day you want it to work. That is how you change your words to be more positive. And for any of you guys who don't understand manifestation, basically it is bringing things into your life that you want. Being positive, believing, Dreaming, believing, and achieving. I talk about it a lot on this channel, but believe it guys, believe. And the big mistake that people make, and I'm gonna say this right now before this video gets going, but the big mistake people make bringing stuff into their lives that they want is that they expect it right away. They're like, yes, I am going to marry that boy. And then years go by and you haven't married him yet. And the big mistake we make is just expecting it to happen as soon as we want it. When you manifest something, you dream it, you think about it, you imagine it, you let it go to God, and then over time, God will process that and bring it to you. But you have to believe and you have to just let God do it in his own time. The mistake is thinking that it won't happen if it doesn't happen exactly when you want it. And as soon as you start switching your focus onto the fact that it hasn't happened and start thinking it won't happen, and then you're telling God you don't want it to happen. So you need to think about it, you need to dream it, think about it, live it, believe it forever and achieve it. So anyways, it's worked for me, it's happened for me, and I want it to happen for you guys, but today is especially important because it is the luckiest day of the year, 8-8. Eight, eight. Chino is the luckiest boy. <laughs> he gets his stall changed two times a day, his stall cleaned two times a day, at least. I'm pretty sure your owner would not allow this. I saw Sam letting my horse, eight, eight, eat hay, eat the grass yesterday. And I was screaming into the camera, Sam, don't let her eat the grass. But I know that it's really hard not to when you're filming. <sighs> filming makes bad horses. But he is a good horse. He's a good boy. And he is feeling better, doing better. He's amazing. He's a tall boy. I really do believe he's happy at home. He is such a happy little boy. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my day. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at fools. No, I don't care because I am on my way up. And I won't stop. I won't slow down. Standing on my feet, I'm going to rise up. No, I won't. Stop, it is my time Cause I know what it's like to be broke Girls are so annoying They're not in love with letting Chino be They're all in heat, they're peeing everywhere Love my girls though, love them Girls are not annoying, they're amazing, magnificent It's the circle of life you guys I need to find a fly mask to go on Chino And I have to sew 
willows. The barn is a, is a glorious mess. <laughs> the barn is gonna get cleaned up in just a little bit. I'm gonna go up and feed the chickens and have my coffee. And then the girls and I are gonna come down together and do barn chores because it is really hot and I'm amazed that Sam did such a good job doing chores on the weekend. He does chores on the weekend in this heat. He came in a few times and was like, Laura, it's suffocating out there. We have to like go slow. So I'm gonna go up, have a break. Uh, all the girls are running to save Chino. They're like, stay Chino! They're trying to get you! I know what it's like when nothing goes your way So I'm gonna let myself enjoy The fruit from this lucky day Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down Yeah, I am on my way in the barn. Normally we have riding lessons today and we were actually getting ready for riding lessons. I'm like, yay, it's riding lesson day. What? Have you guys Brandon No. I messaged Brandon and said, like, Brandon, are we supposed to ride today? It's supposed to rain at one. So I was thinking like, it's supposed to cool down today. But I don't know, like it's supposed to, oh, look at him. He's like, oh, we'll eat Penny's grain. <laughs> So it's supposed to cool down and that's what I was thinking. I was thinking like the heat wave is supposed to break today but it might not break until after our lesson time. So I asked Brennan and he said, yeah, I think we should cancel. But I told my friend or I was talking to my friend and I'm like, yeah, we're riding today. And she's like, Laura, it's a heat wave. I'm like, oh, and I forget that. <laughs> but I think what happened was that I know today it's supposed to break and so I just assumed it would break but it hasn't broken yet. Yeah, you would not like a hat. He loves a red bucket. That's what he loves. He's like, I will have your apple. <laughs> Let me move the bucket. One thing about our little farm that I love. <laughs> One thing I love about our farm is that it is always cool here. I mean, it's a heat wave, but there's always a breeze. Like, always a breeze. Point and check. Do you see the tree? See? <laughs> Gino's like, I will take that apple. The girls are peeing everywhere. Do you guys see it? And all at the front too. Hello, handsome man. You're the sweetest boy. Yes, you are. You're so sweet. It's a bird. Oh, well, that's gross. Throw it away. But it's for your skull collection. It falls right there. It just yeah. needs to skin it right more. Yeah, I'm not. And it's legs right there and it's other legs right there. Yeah, that's disgusting. Thanks for showing me, Sophie. When I know the rain is coming, I try and clean this whole field here. And I cleaned this field on Friday. On Friday, and there's this much poo. We're all dead. We're dead, like it's hot. You see my face? It's not the camera, it's all red. Sophie has sweat, Gabby has sweat. My face is red because I was running and I don't run. Yeah, she doesn't run. <laughs> And Sophie's face is was pouring sweat just a minute ago. I don't know if you guys can see it. it's just pouring off of me. It, so uh, we're trying to decide if we should go to the other barn and take care of Chance. He's still our responsibility. Yeah, I don't think it's safe. Like I don't think it's good. Yesterday we went out because we knew we were gonna go swimming. Would you guys want to go swimming again? Yes, please. Do you actually? Please. Do you want to? Kaylee's as working. As long as it's the same spot as last time, yeah, because that, that did nice. not ruin my hair. Okay, so. You guys know I love my rope halter. It's kind of dirty. I need to clean it. So what I love about it is that it's got these four knots that sit systematically over top of the horse's nose. Just perfect. So there are two ways to hook your reins up to this if you choose to ride in it. And a lot of people ride in, in this kind of a rope halter. And you can hook it up to that part right there that goes under their chin. Or you can hook it up to those knots right there or between those knots. My reins have like a clip so I can just clip it anywhere I want. And I've tried it on the bottom underneath her chin. It doesn't give me as much control as if I attach it between the two knots. And what I love about this is that you can actually add little rings to those knots, permanent rings, or you could even take them off, little rings to these knots here. And 
make it so that you can attach it, your reins to the ring instead of like between here on their face. So I love that about this. It's so versatile. So I've been looking for like the rings that open that you can put in there and I can't find them. Uh oh. I do have these little D rings and I think I can t attach these to the thing so that I can use my hook my halter on it. Anyway, I'm going to try it and see what I can come up with. I'm going to use Baylor twine and see if I can get it to stay on there really good because I think it would just be more comfortable for Penny. Uh, even though she loves this uh, halter and she loves being ridden in it, I'm able to ride her bitless and have total control. Like you guys saw her on the trail ride. She was so happy. I met up with a lady there and she's like, wow, you can ride her bitless on the trail? And I'm like, yeah, actually, isn't that amazing? Like it didn't even occur to me that I was out on a trail with a bit because Penny listens to this and enjoys this so much more than a bit. And what I learned, what most of you guys probably already know, is that sometimes a pro the problem that the horses have is that they don't like the bit. And so your whole ride is spent with them stressing about the bit. And Penny doesn't do this. Like I tried so many things. I bought a like really expensive bit online from an online trainer that trains gated horses, a trail bit made specifically for her. I tried so many bits and she always was so stressed out about the bit, so upset and so worried. And I know lots of horses handle bits, no problem, but Penny didn't like it. And I tried so many things. I have a bitless halter that's leather and she hated it because even though I put fur on it, she, the, the, whenever I would pull, the leather would kind of tilt and go into her nose. And she didn't like anything. And as soon as I got this, Somebody sent this to me. The minute I got it, she was like, finally. So anyway, I'm gonna try and put these little rings on and see if I can even make this thing work better for us. I love how it works right now, but if this little tiny tweak can make even her make her even happier, then I'm gonna do it. Or at least I'm gonna try it. I'm not crafty. There's a package. What is it? It's a package and it has a horse on it. We have reused this box in packing material. Thank you for participating in our green initiative. That's why it says effective supplements through science. What the heck? How does that happen? All right, I think this box is for Gabby. Miss Gabby, a perfect gift to end today when our lessons were canceled because of the heat wave. All right, can you guys guess what it is? No, I recognized it from that. Yeah, but Omega that's... Alpha, that's... Oh, Omega Alpha. That's the supplements. Horse supplements. Can you guys guess? And it's a black box. Paper. <laughs> Watch, Daisy will take it to her, her crate. She'll take it. That's so funny. See, she takes everything to her crate. Oh my God, Sophia, is it impossible? Can you hear it? All right, it is a 1K. I can't even wait any longer. It is a 1K helmet. Gabby had to replace her helmet. You guys know she fell. We don't know for sure she hit her head, but she did have a concussion, so. Oh, I got a letter. She got a letter. Uh, people said that 1K has a program you can replace your helmet and get money off. No, I could put my name and phone number. Oh, return and exchange. Mm. Anyway, they didn't have the helmet, the exact helmet that Gabby wanted at that store in her size, so we ended up having to order it, and it came today. $359. So 400. Oh, total 416. So yeah, 400, not close to five. Oh, I love that bag. That's adorable. Apple saddlery. That's where we ended up getting it from. Try it. <laughs> <laughs> Try it. You'll it like it. Like Does it smell like horse treats? Uh, I don't know. I swear to God, we buy so many things for our dogs that when they come in, whenever we get packages, they always think it's for them. Like Daisy's begging for it. She's like, <laughs> Daisy's like, I don't really want this. I'll go back. <laughs> She's looking for what she can have. Daisy is the weirdest dog. She literally goes about the house finding anything that she thinks will be interesting and takes it back to her crate. We fish everything out of her crate every day. Especially toilet paper. Yeah, toilet paper is the new thing. She goes up to the bathroom opens the door, and then... Yeah, when I'm going to the bathroom, she opens the door. <laughs>
I know. She's... And even when I'm having a shower. I know. Even when I'm having a shower. <laughs> I know. It's the same for all of us. All right. So that's it. She didn't want the sunglasses. Do you want the sunglasses now? No. I, I do. I know. I love if it. If I want to ride, hang on. She already has sunglasses. I love it that it comes with sunglasses. When it comes with the sunglasses, the sunglasses that are attached. You see, this is trying to figure out how to bring the box to her Yeah, that's a lot of mess for one package. The sunglasses that it comes with, can you flip them up when you want to or no? Yeah. Oh, I love that. I wish she had got the sunglasses too. I would rather get the glasses than the new helmet. But you're... you're... She has the new helmet. She has the sunglasses. Sophie does? Yeah. Oh, do you want to get the sunglasses? Yeah. All right, let's do it. I love those. I think those are cool. No, I don't need sunglasses. I have a wide brim. All I have to do is tilt my head slightly downwards. Yeah, she loves no the sun wide goes brim. In my eyes. All right, comment below. Wide brim or no wide brim? Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the